What's going on guys? Welcome to another Tarkov video. Today we're going to go through the patch 15 wipe trailer and we're going to go through all of the little nitty gritties. We're going to stop it. We're going to start it. We're going to, you know, we're going to focus on the bits that matter and we'll see what's in the next wipe. All right. All right, right out the gate, we're in Factra with our boys. Looks like they're putting down some firing maneuver kind of action. Now, people are suggesting that this is going to be the down state. I'm not 100% convinced that there's going to be a down state ever in Tarkov, to be honest. It's just something that would be uh, nice. All right, so everybody died. Even the guy with the M6 there. Oof, this is cold. We've got Tagilla, we've got the cultists descending upon our position. Filth. Okay, so it looks like we're in upgraded or reworked factory and a lot of new areas as well as familiar areas as well. I know a lot of the map has been spoken about in a bit of detail and it's a reimagining of the uh, classic map it looks good it does look good here we go got the action going on now in the factory area of the uh or the office area of the factory and the forklift area this looks like the water pump station that you need the key for but no one ever goes in got the uzi on interchange the gl on reserve and now we're on customs and streets a lot of action going on m6 there the uzi the mac 10 they are going to be a problem you see the guy with the dbl he had bipod down this little uh, sniper position up there mortars now, I'm not convinced how these are going to be called in, whether it's going to be a flare or if it's just going to be the boss. Maybe you kill the boss and then you get the access to it. And there he is. Stalking a four-man squad in the uh, in the forest. Looks like it's on woods. Are you ready for escape? I am. I'm, I'm, I'm completely ready for escape tomorrow. Right, so I'm going to scrub through the video and we're going to go through it bit by bit. And then we're just going to give our thoughts on what we think is happening or up updates on what the new items are in the game. So, again, we start in Factra. We've got three-man squad and us down. Now, like I said, a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be the downed mechanic. I know Delta Force has got this where if you get shot in the head or the thorax, you instantly die if you take enough damage. But if you get shot in the arms or the leg or the stomach, then you don't die. You just go into this down position where you can be revived. We're walking through. It's probably factory again. I don't recognize this from anywhere else. This is probably an outside area of the new factory uh, reimagined map. Um, and we're looking at the uh, the SR3M update uh, weapon. Uh, it's going to be a new gun. It's going to be a longer version of the SR2M, which is like a submachine gun that fires the, uh, the pistol ammo. I like this. Like the one thing I would say from this trailer is it is very cinematic. If you look at this here, that is the killer written on the on the wall. I don't know if you caught that in the uh, the first watch that you did. There we go. We got a new gun. Improvised grenade traps. So I don't know how we're going to be able to do this. I hope it's rare because if it isn't, it's going to be absolutely chaos you're going to be going into two-story dorms to get your quest done for operation aquarius and you're just gonna get blown up on the staircase there's going to be spots i can already see it where people have got perfect angles so you can't really go around the corner without tripping it you know as you can see there look that's an impact grenade on the uh the booby trap there so instantly it's if that goes off it's going to drop hit the floor and just explode straight away there's not going to be any time to get away 
So this is like gate zeros over here on the right hand side. Looks like it's been uh, destroyed a little bit. If you if you look over on the right hand side there, that that gate looks like it's been ripped off the wall. And then this area has been cleaned up a little bit. There's now a middle area that you can jump through. This used to be one long set of servers, I called it, but it's probably just power. And now this is this is going to be the underground area, the classic area that was added in the factory update a few wipes ago. It's normally the ramps in this little area, and then you've got an area over this way. This looks like it's going to be a uh, lot of water. So if somebody's down here, you're going to be able to hear them, and they won't be able to run because you can't run anymore. That's deep. A new giant hole in the floor as well. This looks like it's looking down into that last area as well. But we've got the LMG there firing away. Updated lighting, it looks like. Like the forklift's actually got lights on, and this is a night map. This is actually really good. I like how it's not pitch black, whereas now... In uh, in Factra, it is absolutely pitch black. If you go, if you don't have a flashlight or a uh, set of MBGs, you're gonna struggle to see anything. Action shots going on right here. This looks like a Mac 10. It's got a little uh, a little red dot on. So like right here, we've got the pineapple grenade on the booby trap, and we'll see how fast it kills someone instantly. I wonder if there's going to be an audible, like, grenade drop, you know? Like, you know when a grenade lands next to you and you hear it and you're like, oh, I better run now. I wonder if there's going to be that same noise. Right, we're on to shoreline. We've got the bipod guy here. And I'm not sure whether this guy's using the, um, the car to use as, like, a rest for his gun. He could be. It looks like he is. We'll see, though, when the, uh, the wipe happens tomorrow. This guy's definitely got his bipod out. I would pro tip it, never go prone in the street like this, because if you get spotted, you're probably going to die. Anyway. So we've got the new Desert Eagle. This this is a player dressed as killer. There's, there's no way that this is actually killer. I'd be back on the main menu, and my game would have been uninstalled by now if this was the real killer. But it looks like it's a one-two tap. And then we've got the new boss. We don't see his face. However, we do have a picture of him. He's, he's called Partisan. We know he's got an AK with grenade launcher. And he sets booby traps up on either dead bodies or uh, lootable crates. Right, guys. That is my breakdown of the trailer. The wipe is tomorrow. It's not been announced at what time. But it's usually around 8 a.m. UK time. And it lasts for 6 to 8 hours, depending on how big the patch is. And then if it goes longer, it goes longer. But I would recommend getting the game ready. Get ready at your PC at least 30 minutes before the end of whatever time frame they give you. And just sit and wait. The servers are probably going to get absolutely smashed. As is every single wipe. You won't be able to log in. So the quicker you log in, the better. Because you don't want to be in the queue. And then you'll probably get back-end errors all day. And it'll probably kick you off the game or it'll stop you from completing quests or whatnot. So make sure everything is on your end as good as it can be. And then all you've got to worry about is BSG's servers on the other end. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a follow, drop a like, drop a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good wipe. If you want to watch me do my wipe, I'll be over on twitch.tv forward slash Captain Skeppy. I hope to see you there. I'll be giving out a lot of tips from all of my experience to the new players in the, in the chat. So if that's something that you think you might enjoy, head on over and I'll see you there. Take it easy.